Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Carrie with Mama Dares to DIY, and I thank y'all for tuning into my channel tonight. I've got something really fun that we're gonna do tonight. Y'all, we're gonna make more sweater pumpkins. If you missed my tutorial on how to make a sweater pumpkin with a Dollar Tree styrofoam carvable pumpkin, you wanna be sure and check that out because it's super fun, so easy, and that one is no sew. Now, this project does involve a tiny little bit of sewing, but don't let that scare you off because it's so tiny. I'm talking about a tiny, tiny, tiny little amount of sewing. You can do it, I promise you. So look, this is what we're gonna make. These little sweater pumpkins from this sleeve. I could actually get two of these little guys from this one sleeve. And I love them so much. They were so easy. And yeah, I mean, a five-year-old can do it. So don't let the sewing thing scare you. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly how to do it. And y'all, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. I certainly appreciate your support. You just, you'll never know how much it means to me. I, I just can't believe how much love that y'all have shown me and I appreciate it so much. So yeah, and if you really enjoy it, of course, I would love if you shared it with your friends because that's what good friends do. We share things we love with our friends. So share my video, comment, like, share, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and also check out my blog. I've got lots of fun stuff happening over there that you're not going to see on YouTube. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, stay tuned. We're going to make some pumpkins out of a sweater sleeve. Okay, y'all. So if you remember from the last sweater pumpkin tutorial that I did, we had um, a couple of sleeves left over. We took the top part of the sleeve and we had the bottom part of the sleeve left over. Well, y'all, this is the bottom part of the sleeve that was left over. And I just loved the cabling so much. I hated to get rid of it. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try to make a couple of smaller pumpkins. Well, this is what I came up with. So we've got our sleeve here, and we don't want to cut it exactly in half. I want to cut it over just a little bit because I want to have a bigger pumpkin and I want to have a smaller pumpkin. Now this is going to require a tiny amount of sewing. It's not a whole lot, so don't freak out on me. I mean, seriously, it's a very tiny little bit. So we're going to go ahead and just cut this sleeve a little bit. And I'm going to take my Fisker scissors. You'll know how much I love these. And we're just gonna cut it. Y'all know I'm an eyeballer. So this is about one third. So this is one third, this is two thirds, and this is the other third. It's not exact, but that's okay. We're just gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut this sleeve. And if your line is not straight, hey, guess what? It is not gonna make a hill of beans difference. So don't freak out. Okay, so now we've got these two sections here. We're gonna start with the smaller pumpkin first. Now to make this happen, we're gonna save ourselves a little bit of sewing and I'm gonna actually put it together. The bottom is gonna be put together with a ponytail holder. You can pick up any ponytail holder you've got laying around. If you don't have one laying around, you know what? Go borrow one from your neighbor's kit. I'm pretty sure they probably have one. So we're just gonna turn our sleeve inside out. And the edge that we're gonna use for the ponytail holder part is gonna be the cut edge. This edge here is the factory edge. This is the edge that we're gonna be sewing on. So flip your sweater sleeve inside out. Take your ponytail holder and you just wanna sort of bunch up your sleeve. You know, I don't like to do it like this. I do sort of like to gather it just so that it makes a nice clean bottom. But you know, how you do it is totally up to you. I just like the way that looks. And if you've got a smaller ponytail holder, that's fine. These are just what I happen to have on hand from my cheer bow making days. If y'all don't know about cheer bows, man, you're really missing out. Those things are serious. Okay. So now what we've got here, it sort of looks like a little toboggan, doesn't it? Woohoo! Okay, so now we're just gonna flip it inside out. So now your ponytail holder is gonna be on the inside. Can y'all see where we're going with this? Now, if you don't trust yourself with your ponytail holder, 
you can take a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it doesn't come apart and just put some hot glue on here. Totally not required, but you know, I would rather be safe than sorry. And we'll take our little stick and just push down. Just want to make sure those edges are all sealed. Okay, now we're ready to flip it inside out, or flip it right side out. That's the inside. And this little piece actually came out, so we'll just put a little bit drop of glue here just to make sure this is sealed. I don't want this guy coming unraveled on me. And this is the bottom, so that's not really gonna be seen. Okay, now for that, you can kind of see this little pumpkin taken shape. Go ahead and stretch it really good. Okay, and now we're gonna take our plastic needle that I did pick up from Michaels. These are just a little plastic needle. They come two to a pack. If you trust yourself with metal needles, you know what, go for it. But I don't trust myself with, with sharp objects, so I'm going for plastic. And y'all, all we're gonna be doing is going in and out, in and out. I'm sure there's some fancy sewing term for this stitch. I don't really happen to know what that is, so I'm just gonna call it the in and out stitch. And I did double my thread. Oh, and let me show you the thread we're using. The thread we're using is just 100% cotton thread. You can choose whichever thread you want. If you wanna use a yarn, you can do that too. We're just gonna go in and out of this. Be sure that you get as close to the edge as possible because you wanna use that factory edge there. We're just gonna go in and out all the way around. Okay, now we're almost at the end. We're gonna overlap where we started. So this is where we started. We're just gonna go a couple of extra stitches over so that when we pull it, we'll get a nice easy pull. Okay, so this is where we started and this is where we ended. So now we're ready to stuff this baby. Now, we do want a little bit of weight to go in the bottom up here, so we're gonna put some beans in it. I opted for pinto beans, because I sent my daughter to the store and that's what she picked up. And we're just, let them settle in the bottom there around your little ponytail holder here. And now we're gonna stuff it. Now I picked up a pillow for my local thrift store and I just pulled the stuffing out of it. If you don't wanna, if you don't have a thrift store near you or if you just wanna use your own batting, you know, head on out to your craft store or your local Walmart and just pick up some batting. We're just gonna stuff it. It's okay if, it's, if it comes out because we're gonna cinch that together and we're gonna stuff it in as we go, okay? So now we're just gonna pull. And you wanna pull gently and slowly and stuff it in as you're pulling. And that just sort of goes in just like that. Okay, so now we're ready to tie it off. I like to tie a couple of knots in this just to make sure that it does not go anywhere. Okay, and now we're just gonna clip off the excess. Isn't that precious? Can you see this little pumpkin already taking shape? 
you know if you want a tall pumpkin you can roll it and kind of manipulate it or if you want a little fat pumpkin just squish them down Okay, so now that we've got both of our pumpkins sewn and stuffed, we're ready to make the stems. Now, for the stems, we're gonna be using the natural raffia from the Dollar Tree, and we're also gonna be using the jute twine from the Dollar Tree. Y'all know how much I love me some jute twine from the Dollar Tree. I usually stock up on that stuff as soon as I see it in stock. And we're also gonna be using wire. Um, I don't think I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, but you can pretty much pick up this floral wire. I know they have it, but I don't think that's where I got this one from. I'm pretty sure I got this one from Walmart. So, to make our stems, I want them to be bendable. So that's why we're gonna use the wire. So we'll take our wire cutters and cut off roughly about, I don't know, an eight inch piece maybe for the small one. We're gonna take and bend our wire in half, but we don't want it to be exactly in half. We want one piece to be longer than the other. Okay? So now you've got a little loop on one end and you've got a point on the other. We'll just lay that aside. So now we'll cut open our raffia. And y'all, this raffia can be kinda of tricky. I'm just gonna pull off a couple of the smaller pieces. Because this is a small pumpkin and I don't wanna use the huge, huge pieces. So I'm gonna find a couple of the smaller ones and just pull those out, if there are any in here. Well, this bunch doesn't really have many small ones. So we'll just pull a couple. Okay, so we're gonna take our raffia and we'll kind of do it in half here. It doesn't, all of them don't have to be in half. You just wanna give a few more little sprigs that are gonna be at the top. You can kind of twist those together if you want to. Okay, so now we're gonna take our little piece of wire and we're gonna put it, you don't want it to go all the way to the top because you do want that to be a little bit loose on the end. And we're gonna put a tiny little drop of glue just so that these kind of stay. We're gonna be wrapping this with our jute twine, so it's not that big a deal, but I do want it to at least stay in place for now. Okay, so now we're gonna take the rest of our raffia, and we're gonna twist this part up, and we're just gonna hold it there, and then we'll twist some down, and then we'll twist some more up, and then we'll twist some down. So you're gonna have this weird sort of stalk looking thing. Okay, so now we need some jute twine. This can be a little tricky, but there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Okay, so now we're just gonna sort of twist our twine over here and put a little drop of glue here just to hold it into place. Okay, so now we have our twine tied through the middle here. And you don't wanna go all the way to the end because this is actually gonna make the part of our pumpkin stem. So you wanna leave these loops loose. Now we're gonna take our twine and just sort of give it a couple little twists. And then just sort of twist it up as you go. You don't want it to be really, you know, structured and tight, you want it to be sort of loose and go as far up or down as you want. You know, it's okay if this is a little bit messy, 
because this is kind of that farmhouse look that we're going for. And then you can go back down or you can end it right here. It's completely up to you. And then we'll secure it down with a little drop of glue. And then if you're scared to burn your fingers, use your little craft stick to hold it down. Okay, so can you see the little stem that we're going for here? Okay, it looks a little weird right now. But we're going to give this just a few little twists. We want to kind of messy it up a little bit. And then our loops, we're going to unfold the loops like this. Now, you've got your wire sticking out the bottom here. This is what we're going to put inside of the hole of our pumpkin. So we've got our pumpkin here. This one might be a little bit long. Let's cut that off a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't want it poking in. Okay, so now there's our wire. And we're simply going to stick it through here. And that's our little stem. And because we have wire through the stem itself, we can manipulate this, we can have it bend, we can have it go whichever way we want to. So it's completely up to you how you want your little stem to look. This is one that I made from the other side of the sleeve. So you can see they're both a little bit different. So just play around with it and find out which, you know, which way works for you. I will tell you that I'm not gluing these down because I do have another um, project that we're going to do with these cute little pumpkins. Um, so if you don't want to do the next project, if you know you want to keep these as pumpkins, then feel free to go ahead and glue these down if you want to. But like I said, I have another project planned with these pumpkins, so I'm not going to glue those down. So we're going to do the same thing with this one, the bigger one. And for the bigger one, I don't mind if I use the bigger pieces of raffia. So we'll just pull off some raffia. Maybe, I don't know, three or four pieces. And I really like that frayed look. But if you don't, then you can just snip them off clean. But I'm kind of digging that frayed look. Uh, maybe I'll do one more piece. Okay. So we'll need some more wire. And the same thing as before. Bend it. Leave one piece longer. And then we'll repeat the process that we did with our last one. Okay, so what we have left with is this weird looking stalk thing. And we're going to do just like we did the smaller one. We'll push down our loops. And then we've got our wires that are sticking out the end. And we're just simply going to take our wires and poke them down in the holes. And because it's wired, remember, we can bend it and we can shape it to be whatever shape we want. Isn't that cute? Oh, I can't stand up. It's so adorable. Now, I did go ahead and do the other two sleeves. So now we've got four pumpkins from the sleeves of our sweater. I all agree that this pumpkin is absolutely adorable. But let me show you how you can take it one step further. If you've seen the pumpkins that have the little segments in them, you know where you can see the little segments of the pumpkin. I'm going to show you an easy way that you can add those same segments to your sweater pumpkins. So we'll just take our stem out, lay it to the side because we're going to be using that again. And then we're going to take our same cotton twine or cotton string, I guess it is, that we used from our earlier sewing of the pumpkin. 
and we're going to use that same string. And we'll cut us a piece roughly, I don't know, maybe 36 inches long. You want it to be longer, that way you can cut off the excess. And we're just going to take it and put it in the center here. We're going to flip our pumpkin upside down. Kind of get it in the middle so that you've got two segments about the same and give it a nice little tug. And we're going to spin our pumpkin. Have y'all ever, ever wrapped presents at Christmas time or for a birthday or another occasion where you, you put your, you know, your ribbon on it and then you twist it and we're going to make a bow. That's kind of what we're doing here. So we're just going to give it a twist and bring it over the top. Now you can leave it like this and your little pumpkin can have four segments, but I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to give it a twist again and I'm going to go back over those four segments and I'm going to cut those in half. Now we're going to have eight segments. And then we're going to do it again, flip it over and look. Isn't that adorable? Now we're gonna finish it off with a knot. And the great thing is, in our third video of this series, I'll be doing something else with this same pumpkin. So you wanna stay tuned for that. That one will be coming up, hopefully just in a few days. Well, look how cute that is. So now we're gonna put our stem back in. We'll just stick our wires back down in. And look, look how we transformed that. Isn't that precious? Okay, thanks for watching y'all, I really appreciate it. Okay guys, here's our three pumpkins together. We've got our big carvable pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and from the earlier tutorial. If you missed out on that one, I'll be sure and link to that here. And we've also got the two smaller ones that we just made with the sleeve of our pumpkin. Aren't they precious? Now you're not gonna wanna miss the third video in this series because it is something wild and crazy and it's gonna actually take these pumpkins in through Christmas and trust me, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll get the notifications every time I upload a new DIY tutorial. I thank y'all for tuning in and happy DIYing y'all.